Sometimes we want to take our phantoms into areas that are damn near impossible to land or take off in. It might be really rough or high terrain, an open body of water, snow, soft sand, crazy high grass in a paddock or even just plain windy. A method we use fairly often is something we call the catch and release. It's pretty simple. You just catch and release. When possible we establish a good, clear and safe home position close by and then simply move the phantom to the location we're going to fly in. If this isn't possible, we'll set the best or softest home position we can safely access at the time. The Phantom has plenty of standby power to move it around, so there's no rush to get it in the air, but we'll look at this in a lot more detail in a later video. The catch and release is pretty easy even when flying solo, providing care is taken. The safest and easiest method I find is that we always go to the Phantom, the Phantom never comes to us. And it always stays well above head height, for obvious reasons. We just put her into a hover, take a firm grip with both hands and controls down. And the takeoff is the opposite. Very little power is required to put it up into a hover. Even on the windiest of days, it makes a tricky job much easier. Is it dangerous? Well, not a question I'm going to answer. But I guess most things are dangerous if you don't take care in the world. But given you have the control, well, I guess you get to make the call. I certainly wouldn't be trying it with a big drone. Propeller guards, safety glasses and gloves are a good idea as well. And I'm not suggesting for a minute anyone else should try this, it's just something we do. And ground level takeoffs are always the preferred option, but sometimes it's just not possible in areas that we operate. When moving the Phantom anywhere, the controller cannot be turned off or moved away from the Phantom. Otherwise she'll go into failsafe and fly home, wherever she is, and I mean wherever. And I'll give you the big tip, there's nothing like a possessed Phantom trying to cut loose in the back of a car. Soon we'll be doing a segment showing how we tackle open sea boating with the Phantom, which looks at failsafe landings in open water. I hope you enjoyed this little technique and the things we discover. Remember that it's not an instructional video or a recommendation. Please check out the website for more videos, tips and tricks about the Phantoms and behind the scenes articles. Anyway, that's it for today guys. Happy flying. Oh, the